we got time with the uh, unemployment number that we didn't have our morning meeting so let's have it now all right Barbara come back baby come back any kind of fool could see there was something and everything Barbara you're back I'm gonna do our morning meeting right now I was just preoccupied with that freaking number I apologize but we got time we got time all right, let's start with our spiders, guys. Obviously, we see where we are, right? So, as far as support, 133. I don't think we got to worry about support right now. But 133. And as far as resistance, we don't have any. Zero. Zilch. None. We're in nowhere's land. Okay, I mean, I guess I'd say 135 if we go up another dollar ten from here. But we're gonna have to play this as we go today. It's very simple. All right, we'll look for reversals at some point. I am. Um, I started this morning. Okay, my little swing. And again, guys, this is just me. I don't want anyone following. I started my little swing in TVIX this morning at 1450. Okay, started my little swing at 1450. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the spiders. Let's look at some stocks. Caterpillar trading at 112. Again, guys, we have nothing in these stocks as far as resistance is concerned. There's nothing here. 114, let's do a Caterpillar, okay? If it spikes up $2 from here, let's watch Caterpillar at 114. Alright? There's just not, not a lot here. Not a lot here. Actually, where are we? Screw that. We're at 111.80. Let's look at CAT at 113. All right, guys? 113. Up another buck from here. We'll take a peek. Especially if we gap up from here on the opening. I'll play this as a regular day. If we, uh, we're up nicely, if we gap up from here, we get involved. It's that simple. All right? I'm not going to talk about support. If they start coming in, we'll start talking about support. Let's just look at resistance levels. FCX trading at 46.51 up 50 cents. All right, let's look at FCX at 47.50 up another buck from here. 47.50 FCX. So everything we look at, let's look for it to stretch another, you know, 50, 60, a dollar somewhere in there. FCX 47.50. LVS trading at 51.34. Again, this is in nowhere's land. Let's look at 52.50 in LVS. 52.50 in LVS. All right, 52.50. Monsanto trading around 83. Let's go recent high 84. Monsanto 84. Monsanto. Okay, 84. Monsanto. All right, let's look at pot at, uh, Mosaic. I'm sorry, guys. Mosaic. Mosaic's down. It's not even up. So, support 55 Mosaic. 55 if it goes in that direction. And resistance will go 58. 55, 58. Mosaic. Patash, 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 patash. Again, the potash not up. So let's go 46. And 4880 is a very big number. 46, 4880 in potash. Rig. Rig is up small. 40 cents. Again, this one's in nowhere's land, so we're trading at 49. Let's look 51 in rig. 51. R-I-G. 51. Slumberger is trading at 78.30. Let's look 80 in Slumberger, especially early. 80. Okay, if it goes up another dollar seventy, 
We will look at 80 bucks in Slumberger. XCO, XO Research, announces agreement granting an exclusive period of an unaffiliated private investor for potential sale of up to one-third equity interest in TGGT Holding. X-ray chart. I will, uh, if any of these change, I'll let everybody know. Somebody is up a dollar trading at 78.30. I'm probably not going to wait till 80. If it goes up straight to one, uh, another dollar from here, 179.30, I'll look. So let's even adjust that, 179.30, slumber yet. Goldman Sachs is up a dollar seventy-seven at one fifteen sixteen. One seventeen forty, guys, which is up another two dollars from here is definitely a level I'm going to be interested in. One seventeen forty. Okay. Don't we'll worry about support. One seventeen forty. AGQ silver. We're approaching a couple of important levels here. First one being 61.50. Right now we're at 61.98. I'm not a buyer there, but that's a level. 61.50, and a big level in this is like 60.89. is a gigantic level, down a dollar from here. 60.89. Very big level. Gold down 72 cents. Again, the reason it's down at all is because everything's so wonderful and they might have to raise rents, rates at some point. No resistance anyway. So we'll just keep our eyes on gold. Support, first gold, support is 169.50, down 80 cents from here. And then 168. 168. Anybody got anything else that we want to look at? Fed fund rate is the rate that banks are charged overnight to borrow money from the Fed. That's what the Fed funds rate is. And it's at basically zero. And has been for a long time. Um, how do I play Zynga? I am out of 90% of my trade in Zynga. That's how I've played it. Sold the, most of it this morning at around $13. This is all, in my opinion, well, I'll tell you what, Zing is different than all these other ones, all right? Because I wouldn't be shocked if Facebook just buys them at some point. Makes sense. It makes sense. They are so tightly tied to that. But I, I bought it on the IPO for a trade, and I'm out of that trade for the most part now. So I would buy it, you know, if it pulls back to its uh, IPO around $10 or so. But otherwise... You know, it was a trade that we made that we're out of for the most part. Rigo, you have any Zynga left? You know, it was an IPO at 10. We bought 10. We bought 9. We bought 8.50. We had a 9.20 average, and we've sold it. You know, we made two and a half, three, three and a half points on it. So, you know, it's like this Ren. Not Ren. Ren, R-E-N-N. -N. There's another one that's uh, based on this... Uh, now it's a piece of crap because you're out of it, right, Rigo? <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Yeah, it was basically a trade, Barbara. Nothing more. Anybody got anything else? Again, I would love to see big stretch from here. Okay? I would love to see big stretch from here to the upside. Just blow it out. Go to 135, 135.50. I mean, let's just go. Get it over with already. So we'll see what the spiders give us. Again, I'm a better seller than buyer in, in everything, obviously, but I want movement from here. All right? Patience and discipline, as always. Versus a 68.1 million estimate. <clears throat> and let's see what they give us. Some things look a little tired, but we said that yesterday also. LVS is only up 20 cents. The fact that it's up at all with win, I might watch LVS. Because wind's down $5. Spiking sharply higher. Tries on wind. If wind starts to break down, I might short a little LVS. All right. Real big spot in wind is 115.50 also. What is it doing right now? Hold on a sec. Down 
down three dollars and fifty eight cents at one seventeen. So one fifteen fifty is a big spot and win. Keep my eyes on that one today. One fifteen fifty is a big spot. And if I see that's breaking down, the LVS is probably a short. The fact that it's up at all with that being down is is uh, strange. So I want to watch LVS. I'll watch LVS and win. Anybody got anything else, guys? Sears? Take a look at Sears. This has been a crazy stock. Got pounded down to $30, trading down at, where is it right now? Huh. It's on a pretty big level right here. 4190, this Sears. Pretty big pivot, SHLD at 4190. Not something I trade. I know it's crazy and it's very news driven so I don't like to get involved in it but if it holds this level here it's 42 level where are we right now now we're a little below it right now 4187 if it gets above like 4225 I think you can buy a little and just have a stop you know at like 4180 40 cent stop that's how I play this year's So let's see what they give us, ladies and germs. Again, you know, I hope they bounce them up from here. That would be my hope. Because I'm going to start my um, shorts again. Okay? I'll be looking at TVIX, which I've started. Maybe even TNA. What's TNA doing? TZA, I'm sorry. Yeah, 19 bucks. Okay. So I started a little TVIX. I'm going to look TZA. Maybe even the VIX, too. Where's the VIX? 1798. We've got to see where that opens. If the VIX gets anywhere near 15, I'm going to buy her to that. All right. All right, guys. We got ten minutes.